Hey, yeah, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullets of Tower. And um, today I have a very, very serious question that I've been meaning to ask for a while because this thought has been pondering in my mind for the past few hours, minutes. I don't, I don't remember. Um, but why do adults like vegetables? Because I, I notice like children don't like vegetables, and that's I notice that that's like portrayed and depicted a lot in like movies or whatever. Like, where children aren't really, like, they're not really into vegetables or whatever. And I'm confused as to why that is. Like, what's so bad about vegetables? Actually, no. I'm more confused about the fact that, like, why, why, just in general, why is that? Because, like, is it the way that children are brought up with the vegetables and stuff? Because, like, I remember when I was a kid, like, I absolutely hated vegetables. Well, I mean, I loved pumpkins, and I still do. Um, but, like, whenever I would have, like, the baby mash or whatever that my mom gave, because, like, I wouldn't eat salad, and I would just eat, like, the, like, we had these, like, squares, like, frozen squares that my mom would make, and they were, like, pumpkin, carrot, spinach, etc., and we would freeze them, and I would just eat a square of that every night with the main dinner, and I would always cry because I didn't like vegetables, but, like, why, why? But then... Like, and, like, that's been going on for, like, my entire life, basically. I mean, as I got older, I did start to accept vegetables and whatnot. But I know that I've said this before, but, like, within, like, the past few months or whatever, my entire, like, ta like my taste buds have changed. And it's strange. Because, like, now, like, I, I, I love salad now. Like, I don't even care about meat. Well, I mean, I still eat meat anyways, because, like, you know, it's good protein, good fiber. Um... But now, like, I'd happily just eat a salad. I don't even need aioli anymore. Like, I just can't, like, eat a Like, I can just, like, have a salad and just eat it. And I don't need meat or anything else, like, to pair it with a block of the flavor. Because I like the flavor. Like, tonight, I had a tomato, like, an entire tomato. Like, it was, um, because, like, we were having, like, um, what's it called? Like, scrambled eggs. A piece of bacon, two mushrooms, some spinach, and a tomato. And like, it's strange because like I, I hate tomato. Like I, well, I thought that I hated tomatoes, right? Because like I knew that they tasted disgusting. But like we had we had like baked tomato, and I this is legitimately the first time that I've ever willingly ate a like, like a full tomato. Like, whenever I would have them burgers or whatever, I would always pick it out. But no, like, if it was chopped up in a salad, then I might have a bit. But, like, this was genuinely the first time that I've ever eaten a full tomato. I didn't even eat sauce. And, like, with, like, we had mushrooms as well. Like, my entire life I've eaten mushrooms. But recently, within the past few months, like, I just randomly started really, 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 like, really, 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 really liking mushrooms. Um, but with the mushrooms, I think it's a bit more explanatory because, like, I remember a while ago, my mom and I, she, like, my mom, she made, um, bacon and mushroom fettuccine, and I really enjoy that, and I think that, because, like, I never really tried, like, mushrooms before that, but I knew that I hated them, but I think that after trying the bacon and mushroom fettuccine, then, like, the taste of mushrooms from that has just rubbed onto me whenever I eat mushrooms. So now, even if I just have a normal mushroom, then I am going to think that I'm eating bacon and mushroom fettuccine. Also, hot take, I don't really like bacon. Is, is that... Because, like, everyone seems to like bacon, but I just... I don't really get... I used to like it when I was younger, but now I just don't. And that's strange. And, like, going back to, like, how adults always like vegetables and whatnot, like, that's that's legitimately a thing, because, like, I've asked my mom about this, and my mom, I don't think that she, like, she told me that she doesn't really, she didn't, she didn't like vegetables when she was young, but now she does. Like, what, how, how does that happen? Is, is that, like, when people say mature, maturing is realizing that, blah, 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 is, when maturing is realized, is that like vegetables or whatever, like liking vegetables? Cause, and it's also kind of strange because I know that there is, there are like adults that like don't like vegetables. 
But then there are also children that love vegetables. And I remember as a kid, and I went to school, and there were other kids that actually liked vegetables. Then, like, I, I was always kind of intimidated by those kids. Because, like, how in the world would you like vegetables? But now I'm like, oh, damn, I wish I was like that when I was young. But I wasn't. The only thing I would eat was, like, whatever my mom would make me. Or whatever I would have at my nan's house. Which usually used to be ham and ham sandwiches. What's your guys' favourite kind of sandwich? Because I know a lot of people like different sandwiches and very specific kinds of sandwiches. But for me, my specific kind of sandwich, they like white bread, no crusts, no butter, tomato sauce, and sliced champagne ham. I can't have that normal ham. Like, you know, at, like at Christmas and stuff, when you have like the fancy like ham that's shaved and stuff. I, c- I cannot have that. It tastes weird to me. I don't like that kind of ham. I like the, the champagne ham that you can get from like New World or whatever. And like, they, like, they have it there and they dish it up into that like, w- like pink tissue or whatever and they wrap it up and they're just like, oh, here you go. And it's, it's gooey and it's kind of slimy. I like that. It's tasty. But don't eat too much of it, though, because then it gets kind of icky. I don't like the aftertaste. But while you're eating it, 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 has, it has a nice texture. You see, I, I think that it's very important that, like, food has a good texture to it. Like, flavor is nice, yes, but I think that texture is the main thing. Because you don't want to eat something with a weird, icky texture, because that's gross. Um, one of my favorite texts, like, I think that's another reason why, like, pavlova, it's, like, one of my favorite cakes or whatever. We only have it at Christmas, but that's one of my favorite parts of Christmas. Well, I mean, and spending time with family, of course. But, like, we never really have pavlova, like, other times. Because it's, like, I've heard that it's hard to make, and also no one in my family really likes meringue or marshmallows. It's only me. But I like the combination of the two. I don't like the fruity flavors, though. The, f- the fruity flavors put me off. Like, why in the world would you put, like, strawberries, blueberries, and kiwi fruit onto a cake? Like, oh my god. Well, I mean, I guess that they would taste nice, and sometimes the, 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 the strawberries are quite nice, but as long as they're good strawberries. Um... People should put table grapes on pavlovas. Because, like, I like it. Because, like, I, I actually love meringues. Because, like, they're sweet and, like, they, they have a nice... T- like, you can bite into it easily. And it's also kind of crunchy. And then the 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 marshmallowy bit, it's, it's like, it's... It's, it's like, it's squishy and it's chewy and it's sweet and it's easy. And it's, it's, it's nice. It's, like, it's, it's very nice. It's very nice. Um, another thing that I really like the texture of, lemon prawn sushi. It's my favorite sushi ever. I just love everything about it. Because, like, it's, if you haven't tried it, it's, like, it's, it's prawn, but with a coating of, like, this lemony batter or whatever on top of rice. And I'm pretty sure there's a ring of, like, seaweed around it or nori or whatever. And I think that it's very tasty. Because, like, you bite into it, right? And, like, the lemon, it, it's a bit, it's a, it's like a tad tiny bit sour. But, it, like, the point where you don't even really notice the sourness. It's just kind of, it's, it's, it's really nice. It's, it's a bit gooey, but then it's also not, like, really nice and crispy. But it's also, like, really easy and soft to bite into. And then you get to the prawn. And that's a tad bit harder to eat. But it's also softer to eat. And it has that nice crunch to it. And compared to the lemony outside, the prawn tastes like really like kind of like sweet or whatever. And then of course the rice. I I always like the sushi rice better than normal rice because it's it's moist and it's nice. I like moist things. Moist things are cool. I actually really like the word moist. I don't know why people hate it. Moist, moist, moist. Yeah, actually no, I hate that word. Wait, moist. Moist. I don't know how to feel about that word. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye guys. Oh wait, shoot! Before I go, I'd like to say my Black Belt Ride CDs are getting ordered in the mail. Finally, we waited a week. They're arriving soon. 